I want to talk to you about a term that I hear a lot in my office, and I don't think it's because I see a lot of clients with ADHD, but they talk about it all the time, and many of them are talking about it from the perspective of dating and going out with people where their, where their date will basically sit and brag about all their achievements. But oftentimes it's because the client is struggling with it and they feel like it's getting in the way of them forming good relationships. And what I want to talk about is a term called confidence dumping. Now it seems counter, sort of counterintuitive that someone who really felt good about themselves would constantly talk about all their personal achievements. So right away we know that when someone dumps on us all their achievements, besides coming across as annoying, we know several things about them. They're impulsive, they're anxious, they don't feel good about themselves, they're insecure. And we also, depending on where they are in their job or status or whatever, we oftentimes will misinterpret it as that they're bragging, they're arrogant or whatever. But as a psychologist, I can tell you when people, when I encounter people like that, whether it's at work or in my own personal life, I usually give them a space. And the reason I do is because many times people who, who boost or dump confidence are really telling you that they've never been validated. Many of these people, when I talk to them deeper, they say that when they did things that they thought were personal achievements, other people reacted like, what are you talking about? Like, this is just the norm. Quit bragging to me or telling me. And the other thing is, if you work with one of these people who is constantly dumping their achievements, it not only gets annoying, but after a while you tune them out and you find yourself withdrawing and not wanting to be around them. We're not taking their part. We're not seeing their perspective. And what they're doing with that is they're trying to raise their status so you'll be, so they'll be liked more by you. If we could only tell them directly, will you quit talking about your achievements? Because it's coming across as bragging or arrogant, and I just don't even want to be around you anymore. Most of us won't say that because there's something inside of us that tells us this person feels very insecure about what they've achieved and what they've done. So we just kind of listen to it. And oftentimes we'll get trapped into saying, oh, that's really great. That's really great because that's what they really need. It's like telling someone something that you can always see clearly what they need. I think what's important though is if you have confidence dumping and if you feel like you need to brag or talk to other people about your achievements when you're around them, I first of all want to alert you that the reason you're targeting that person is because you feel like that person is sensitive, that that person will actually listen to you, that that person that it matters to that person. And that's where many times we get into trouble because it really doesn't matter to that person. We're, the confidence um, dumper is just getting the idea that they can do this. They're feeling comfortable with that person and that's why they're doing it. So if you're a confidence dumper or if you're dating one and you like so many things about them, but you hate this annoying habit, I'm going to give you things that you can do, or if in the case that this is someone you care about, you can suggest to them because it really does help calm them down. And, and also it starts building that internal praise that so many people never got. The ability to understand that when you achieve something, it's a personal goal. And it's really important that you reward yourself without bragging about it to other people. The first thing you can do is you can journal. You can write down every day what your goal is, what you're feeling like you achieved, why it's so important to you. The more you can catharse this feeling out on paper and applaud yourself, do something special for yourself when you read it. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna have um, an extra 30 minutes to 
to go do something that I love doing. Maybe it's getting a coffee or maybe it's sitting and reading the news or whatever it is, allow yourself that. Secondly, with every achievement you make, have a jar, have an achievement jar, write it down on a piece of paper and put it in the jar. And then once a week, go through your jar and really see what your achievements have been. And once again, make sure you tell yourself, great job. Nobody else has to see it. That validation from other people is oftentimes not real anyway. It's more important that you know it and you need it. And that way, what you can put in the jar what you would be bragging about and annoying others. Thirdly, volunteer. When you volunteer, other people will begin seeing all these incredible things about you. Little things that you probably have gone unnoticed you will be able to hear that validation from other people. And the more you do that, the more you understand we are all connected. And when I help out, when I do something that I am proud of, other people oftentimes will see things that they're proud of. I'll start getting a sense. I'll start getting a perspective. Okay, it's not all me. It's not all what I feel good about. Other people are seeing other good things about me. It really helps broaden your whole idea of putting good out there. And challenge your negative thoughts. When you start feeling badly about yourself or you start telling yourself maybe old tapes you got as a child growing up that you were no good or you were lazy or you were stupid, start challenging those. Would someone that was lazy volunteer would someone that was stupid have the awareness to have an achievement jar and write down when they're doing something well? Would someone journal if they didn't have insight? No, they wouldn't. When you start challenging the negative old tapes you hear, you're gonna find out you've come a long way and it's gonna be very helpful for your growth in the future. And have a voice, a range, a wide range of a support group. And by that, I mean, any group you can belong to is going to help give you perspective, is going to help feed back what's special about you so you won't have to go out and elicit it or ask for validation. They're going to give you that. Groups I'm thinking of are like book clubs, Bible studies, um, personal interests, a dog's group, maybe a dog walking group, maybe, you know, I volunteer for Faithful Paws, maybe doing something like that where you're volunteering and you belong to sort of a support group. It really is so helpful. I think when you start doing these actions, you have more emphasis on getting validation through ways that are socially acceptable rather than going out and constantly dumping your achievements on other people. Because in a way, if you think about it, the most precious gift we give each other is our time. And if you take someone else's time, needing validation the whole time by bragging about what you do, you can see why that would be a deterrent to others and they wouldn't want to be around you and then you're sabotaging your own need for connectedness and being with others. So I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart.